Joe's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, a few weeks ago, I did a video on welding gas and cylinders, and one of those bottles of gas was a bottle of 50% helium and 50% argon. Now, this is supposed to be an added bonus to TIG welding. It's supposed to be a little bit cleaner, a little bit hotter, and I just thought it I would be nice to do a comparison between 100% argon and this 50-50 mix of helium and argon. So I've got some welding coupons here. I've got some uh, mild steel, some eighth inch thick mild steel. Uh, I've got some eighth inch thick aluminum and some quarter inch thick aluminum. So let's just see if there really is a difference between the two and if it's really worth it. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna be working off the Everlast PowerTig 210 EXT here today. And um, I've got the uh, settings, the amps at about 125 amps. We're gonna be working with Argon first. I'm running about 20 CFH. I'm using a CK17 air-cooled torch with a 332nd inch 2% uh, laminated tungsten. And I'm gonna to try to keep the settings for this eighth inch material the same, not wanting to change too much. I am going to be working off a of pedal, so if I do need to adjust the amps, uh, I can do so. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get these things all welded out. We're going to switch over to the 50% uh, helium and argon mix, get those welded out. At the very end, we'll take a look at the welds and see if it's really worth it. So let's get started. Okay, so right out of the chute, I do want to say I don't claim to be the god of TIG welding by any means right here. You know, I have uh, <clears throat> limited experience, I don't know, five or six years, uh, you know, recre recreationally, I should say, uh, in my shop. Uh, so, you know, I'm not as good as those guys, uh, a lot of those guys out there. So, you know, be kind to me in the comment section here. Don't beat me up too bad. But uh, anyways, uh, we're moving right along right here. This is the Argon. Um, this is the eighth inch. And, and everything seems to be flowing in just as, it, as to be expected. You know, that it burns in really nice, nice and smooth. Um, that worked out really nice. This is the eighth inch. <clears throat> just uh, a couple blast tacks on the end right here. Uh, and started in with a lap joint. Um, worked again. Pretty good, uh, as you suspect, with uh, with eighth inch aluminum and argon, um, not too bad. Uh, and of course, we're going to move over to the T joint right now. And you know, this is already kind of preheated a little bit, so that makes things uh, all the better with the with the argon going in there. I got to say, it uh, you know worked out pretty good. I was uh, pleasantly uh, pleased with the way it turned out. All right, so we're down to a quarter inch aluminum on the argon, and uh, I've, I've bumped the amps up to 175 amps. I, I think I'm going to need all of that to, uh, to get a puddle going here on this quarter inch aluminum with the argon. So, hope 175 amps is enough. Let's, uh, let's do it. And 175 amps was not enough, that's for sure. I struggled really hard. You can see that I, I actually took the torch and tried to preheat out ahead of the puddle there to, on the metal to try to try to get the thing going. And it just was a battle the whole way. Uh, should have bumped it up to at least 200. Um, but I was committed and I wanted to get it done. So I thought by, by doing the lap joint and then getting the T-joint, the T-joint would be preheated enough to get it in. But I managed to get it, but I fought it the whole way. Now here we are with the helium, uh, helium argon mix, and uh, uh, we're starting out with the mild steel right here. And, and I gotta say, wow, you know, appearance-wise between the two, they look the same, but this this was just so much faster, uh, so much cleaner. The, the I had to move really quick and, and back off the amps with this, but uh, hey, uh, it it really went in nice and smooth. I was I was really pleased with the way that uh, that turned out. Both of the uh, argon and the helium look similar. Now, here's eighth inch aluminum. Um, again, uh, right out of the chute, there's just nothing. It just forms a puddle, and you're just going. And and that's that's what's really cool. I really like that. And uh, that lap joint turned out really good. And here's the T joint. And there it is. Just fired that thing right in there, nice and smooth. That that really really was slick. I, I really like the way that works. Now, here's the uh, here is the quarter inch aluminum. I fired this right in, 175 amps. Um, that worked absolutely perfect. There was no issues whatsoever. The helium definitely excels on the thicker aluminum. That's for sure. All right, there it is. The comparison is complete. 
there they are. The samples are in front of me. Let me bro, uh, bring. Let me bro you. <laughs> let me bring you in a little bit closer and show you the comparisons of how they look. Okay, so here we are first with the argon and the mild steel and uh, eighth inch thick mild steel, and you can see that uh, it's very consistent uh, both in the lap joint and the T joint. Um, really burned in really nice, very consistent. That was really good with the argon, uh, works really well with that. Moving over to the eighth inch aluminum with the argon, you can see that um, um, looks good, everything looks good. It burned in pretty good. I had, to, I had to get the torch just out on the leading edge of the puddle a couple times by a half inch to kind of preheat the aluminum a little bit and then go back to, to bring in the puddle a little bit and keep going. Uh, so that, that was a little bit of work, but it worked out pretty good. And then, of course, uh, on the uh, T-joint down here, uh, the, the, the aluminum was already preheated a little bit, so that actually flowed in uh, pretty good. And you can see right towards we get towards the end right here, uh, where it was really starting to heat up, it, it, it started to flow in really nice. Now on the quarter inch material, this, this became a little bit of a problem. Uh, at 175 amps, I had the pedal smash down all the way. It was, it was all I could do to, uh, to try to heat up the, the metal and bring the, um, the aluminum to a puddle so I can go along with the weld. Um, took a lot of work to get to this, to get it to go like that, especially on the T-joint. Even after preheat, even after I did the lab joint first, uh, the metal was kind of preheated and I still struggled uh, at 175 amps to, to control the puddle and actually get some sort of a bead going in until I got to the very end again where it started to get really hot and it started to flow fairly nice. So there's the argon with those three samples. Let's take a look at the helium. All right, so here's the 50% helium argon. It's very similar to the argon straight, almost exactly. As a matter of fact, you can't really tell the difference if you, if you look and compare the two. There's a slight difference, I, I, I gotta tell you this, um, it formed a puddle a lot faster, burned a lot cleaner, and I had to move a lot faster. Uh, I had to w manipulate the pedal a little bit and back off the amps a little bit to control it, but still, all in all, they both look very similar on the eighth inch mild steel. Take a look at the eighth inch aluminum. Now here we're really starting to get clean uh, with the helium. It, it was no time at all. I struck the arc, the puddle was forming. I just had to get up and get going really quick because it was just moving right along. Had to back off the amps a little bit. Um, and then, after, of course, after the metal was preheated a little bit, uh, the T-joint just, just really flowed in really nice. So that was really smooth. Let's take a look at the quarter inch. All right, so here's the quarter inch with the helium. And now I got to say, this is where the helium excels. Uh, Right away, as soon as I lit the arc uh, with the helium at 175 amps, it started to puddle right away and started and started really forming a, a clean a clean bead across here. I had to I had to really get moving to keep up with this. And of course, after the preheat, then on the T joint, look how smooth everything is right here. I mean, it just was so smooth. I just jumped on the pedal, had to back off 175 amps, and it just flowed right in really nice. So the helium really excels on the thicker aluminum. So let's take an overall review then. Well, there you have it. That was an interesting comparison. Um, how did they hold up? Well, I think there's a place for both gases and TIG welding. If you're welding thinner material, uh, definitely argon, eighth inch and down, eighth inch and less, I should say. Uh, the argon, I think, is the correct gas to use. If you're using eighth inch and above, especially the thicker aluminum, Definitely the helium, the 50 helium, 50 argon mix is the way to go. It, it, I gotta say, I really enjoyed that 50 uh, helium argon. That was very clean, very fast, very hot uh, welding, and it, everything went in there very smooth. Appearance-wise, they looked the same, or they looked very similar, I should say, but performance-wise, uh, from eighth inch and above, helium is definitely the way to go. All right, there you guys go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more video. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.